So hear me out. I know it's a little early for us to be alive, but we're alive. It's necessary though, because my little moo isn't feeling very well and babies come first. So I'm going to be pampering my little moo that's over here behind little Bowie beans. I'll put, I'll put up the puppy cam for tonight so you guys can see. Bowie, leave him. Bowie has no idea even that Cujo is not about him being that close. Um, he's had like, I don't know what to call it. Other than like, misfires, it seems like. It's not a full on seizure. It's just like a seizure. And I don't know. I don't know what to think. I don't know. I had him checked out by the vet and the vet was like, his heart hasn't gotten any worse. You're doing everything you should be doing. But I don't know. It stresses me out and makes me sad. And so tonight I'm going to be on mommy monitor duty. So I wanted to go ahead and get our live out of the way because y'all are also super important to us. So without further ado, here's our logo. So I have puppy cam up for you guys to see what the boys are doing. Hey Jen, hey y'all. Sorry it's surprise early. I told Jeff to post it on, see, that right there. You okay, Moose? Hey, 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 come here. Come on. Come on. You okay? He just like stalls out, you know? Thank you, y'all. And then, of course, I have Bowie down there like, what's the problem? Oh. Anything for our fur babies, you know? Um, they should be up. I don't know. I can't, I'll check on it in a second. So, just so you guys can have an eye on puppy status. Puppy cam is up. Oh, I know, Jen, but... I mean, they sleep most of the day. At least Moo does, so it's fine. Hey B, will you put Kujo on the bar? We got up and thing? had a misfire. So I just wanna Oh right now? Yeah. Go lay down Moose, it's okay. So Who's on the bar? He is the OG poor pup, and it's, he doesn't have, like, serious seizures, not that, like, any seizure is not serious, obviously, um, but they last, like, four seconds, and they're super quick, and he doesn't, like, foam at the mouth, and he doesn't, like, shake and, like, bite his tongue off or anything, it's just, it's just not good, but anyways, <sighs> back to the art, um, I went ahead and pre-painted this board. It's actually a little bit more teal than it's showing. It's more accurate on this camera right here it's than very dark. this camera right here. Um, it is very dark because I'm going to do a reverse negative space. Who was it that I saw do that one that was after the one I did in Australia? 
No idea. So I did a piece in Australia. Someone did a replica. He's on. Um, he's on uh, puppy cam. But this one's watching him. Puppy cam. Mm -hmm. Bright vampy is going to town. Thank you, Jen. Um. So. I did this piece in Australia. Someone recently did their, their version of it and I am now re-inspired by this piece. So I'm gonna do a small replica. Also, fun fact, we met with a realtor today that ended up purchasing that moon that I did not too long ago. So, I had a sale today, and anytime I sell a piece of artwork, okay, that's art coat, this is craft coat, that's not going to work. Is that what I used yesterday? B, I think yesterday I did art coat part B and craft coat part A. What? Shut up. Did somebody just tell you that? No, I just, that's what's on the table. Shut up. How do I have an entire full? Art code B. This is not regular. Art code A. Hey Doris. Y'all, I think I did yesterday's piece with Miss Mass resin. But it's set up beautiful, so whatever. Yeah, Robin in the States, they're having a big thing about um, heart issues being caused by the food that you feed your dog, so... I've got an eye on that as well. So yeah, the piece from yesterday set up just fine. Um, let me go grab it and let this drain for a second. So here's the piece from yesterday, set up amazing, hella glass finish. Kim Guthrie did that piece, okay. Well, Jen, I have, okay, I'm going to kill puppy cam for just a second. So I have this bottle up here, which is Art Coat Part B. And the only other bottle of resin I have up here is this one, which is Craft Coat Part A. That's the only two jugs of resin I have up here. So, so is it dried? I have no other option other than to assume that I put craft coat with art coat. In what? This one. Oh. And it's Is set it up just fine. It's still a little soft, like you could put your fingernail in it, but that's That's regular. 
All right, well, I have about an ounce <clears throat> left to fill out of this. So we're going to... Ounce? Yeah. Just one ounce? Um, I'm an ounce shy of the six ounces that I needed. Right, but the supercast is under the, the table. Well, we'll just... We'll just put a little dash of this in here and see. I'm sure it will have something to do um, with the durability and the clarity and everything. So I'll have to top coat that one just in case. But the fact that it's set up just fine is awesome. Sorry about that, Randy. Well, our babies are doing well. Who just asleep on the bar? I don't know if you can see that little nugget through there. He's right there. That's where he likes to hang out. He's looking at me through his eyebrows right now. <laughs> like very angry. No. On TV, this is a on TV. I'm glad that I didn't get Rob. that on. <laughs> no. Rob, your day. Hi, Petra. What's up, Ali, Mara? I know it's really early for our live feed, but do what you gotta do for the babes, right? Right. So, I am using mostly art coat with a splash of craft coat. It's gonna be an experiment for the ages. The ages! So, no telling what I did yesterday. I know that after the show's over, I don't put any jugs away because I am the messiest artist ever of all the messy. So, we'll just see, right? Right. Even though I'm doing a test to see what goes on, well, especially because I'm doing a test, I guess at this point, I need to make extra for sure that I have everything fully incorporated because I don't want to have a bad test just because I didn't mix things proper or fully. So we're gonna do a little bit extra. Oop. There. Jeff's a super neat and tidy artist. I have everything on display all of the time. It is what it is. Can't apologize for it. It's not going to change. Jen, love you too. I, I have extra tendencies for sure, for sure. Fur, fur. What's up, Dawn in Arizona? So for sure, I'm going to use dark turquoise for this outer region. I'm for sure going to use... Mm, okay. For sure, going to use stone coats. White base tint, this white. I'm for sure gonna use Color Obsessions 007. 
and I'll probably end up mixing a drop of Snow White into this to make it darker. And I might possibly use some turquoise seas. Maybe if we have time, we'll see. So the majority I want to have dark turquoise. Secondary will be my whites. I think what I'm probably going to do is mix the snow white in first and do the center. And then, um, let me think. I'm not going to do this. I'm going to do some black base tint on the outside mixed with some dark turquoise so that my white will sell over my dark turquoise. Okay. And then just a little bit of gold for an accent. Y'all know how I do. And a little bit of dark turquoise because I'm not sure, but it's going to be pretty. So let's get our colors mixed. Yeah, Jen, basically pretty much exactly like that one, but smaller scale. So I'm not using a lot of the tint, so I'm only using three drops. This is, again, Turquoise Sea from Color Obsession. I'm going to mix in my bright gold 007 from Color Obsession. I'm going to do this off of the, I don't even need that much. I'm going to do this off of my base so that I don't spill onto the base and create a mess that's impossible to clean later. I'm using Snow White from Color Obsession. This is going to be for the center. I want it to be really opaque. Rusty, how you doing? How you been? How you mom and him? And then, of course, I'm using turquoise. -y. Nope, dark turquoise from Color Obsession. It's a paste. It's probably in my top five go-to colors of all of the colors in my. How many colors do we have in there? Be like 450. In our 450 stock, this is in my top five easily of colors and if you've never seen what this color does today you got time today I got time so let's mix these bad boys up and see what we got Beautiful color. Um, this this camera is more accurate. And since I don't have any puppies down there, I'm going to turn this camera around so you guys can see more accurate color. This, for some reason, this camera shows true color and the other ones don't. The gold. Well, thanks for tuning in, Robin. We appreciate you watching. I understand that it's hard for people to comment sometimes, so I appreciate it every time we get a comment. This is molten gold. Our pure snow white.
beautiful beautiful and our dark turquoise this color looks straight up black but when it hits any kind of white it fades into this gorgeous gorgeous light teal color you can kind of see it on this back rim area here it's a stunning color you just have to wait and see so I am as per usual going to put some clear down and if you're new to the channel I do this so that my tinted resin has something to move across if I just put my colored resin on to straight canvas it'll it'll land and be like and it won't flow that well what are you listening to B who knows as soon as I know I'll tell y'all I appreciate that Robin so now we're all covered um, if you're interested in any round boards, we do have them on our website, artistaleth.com. And we go from size 12 all the way up to 40 inches. I don't know what that converts to in metric. But it'd be expensive AF to ship anywhere that does metric anyway, so... Yeah. So, firstly, I'm going to put my white down the center. I love how it just, like, glows. Then, while I still have some of this white on the bottom edge, I'm going to put, whoop, not this. I'm going to put this, my transparent turquoise C's. So, just for two seconds, let me... What's up? Check it out. Alright, check it out. I'm gonna put it right here. Look at this wall. Perfect. Now watch. Kick away thick. Nice. Just wait. The whole room. Yeah, But look, I mean perfect. Right? Oh yeah. Perfect. I just got a video from the person that purchased um, the moon that I did not too long ago, the little girl room. Pumped. Ooh, girl, I get seven thumbs down on every video just off top. I don't even ask questions anymore. I just know. That I have seven haters out there. That want to be haters. I did use black base tint in the other one. I just mixed a little bit of the white base tint into my Snow White. Now I'm going to outside rim this dark turquoise. And put a little bit through the middle as well. So, let's get some swiping paper. And I'll add the, uh, the gold afterwards because the 007, like, it takes over a little bit. So, to avoid that, I'm just going to hold off. I'm not adding too much heat because if it's too thin, it'll... It'll just grow and fall off of our board here. I'm just popping the bubbles. This resin is amazing. It has a good two hour working time under ideal conditions, which is basically what we have here in Texas right now. And I poured a little thick for having um, I want for negative space, but we're going to go with it anyways. Yes. 
Y'all just wait. Look how gorgeous. that color is gorge it's glowing for no reason other than gorgeous what's up senior Justine what's up like can you beat this I don't think so this is one of my all time favorite color palettes of all time ever in the world. I'm going to swipe through all of that. Mmm. Any more swipey swipies. So this is dark turquoise. Turquoise seeds, which is on order. Should be in soon. I do have dark turquoise. And snow white. And a little bit, just a drop of... Um, this white as well. To give these extra large cell structures. Bright Dawn is so underwater. You can look at my palette. Oh. Don't judge this big white area because I'm going to bust it up with some gold in a minute. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thanks. Jeff has something he wants to show you guys, and I have enough leftover resin to allow it. What's that? Yeah. What's that? So let's hit some heat and see what we got. You guys are not ready for this. Matches my shirt. I need, I'm gonna put some this through here cause it's a little bit too stark. Thank you, Jen. I'm quite a fan of this palette. I've never done a piece that I hated with this palette. And if you're new to the channel, you know that I do pieces every day. Mm. Mm. Love it. I love when they do these like random, just in the middle of nowhere cells where it's like soft. Have you put heat on that? Um, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna run some gold in here to brighten up the palette. And my negative space has basically become null and void, but I'm fine with it. I, R Randy, I did call it a reverse negative space because usually negative space is white with color in the middle, whereas with this one I started with white in the middle and color on the outside. I have completely abandoned that in this point and it is all, all the space. So it is what it is. Dragon breath. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's sticking, but it's not. Like it's like 
Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. These little glass things are not gonna work. See, I'm not. still wanna fill that up and see what it does. Get that whatever that is off of there. Alright, let's hit it with some heat and call it a dirt. So y'all know how I always say don't add too much base tint because it could blurb out your cells. This is what I'm talking about. See how it's not exactly round? It looks kind of like it's going to be a flower. I put a lit like just a pinch too much base tint in there so it's doing this not really whole cell look but I still love it I think it's still a very cohesive and strong piece you can tell how the um, dark turquoise goes from like midnight to oh it's so blown out at this point it goes from midnight to that awesome glowing aqua color. Oh, thank you, Molly. It's so blown out. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I still love it. I'm still down with this piece. I'm going to go put it in the dust-free zone before I get anything in it. Love how this 007 floats up and creates awesome highlights, so to speak, in the piece. I'll be right back. Well, we made this mold today from uh, a geode laser print. And she wanted to see if she can put the little glass in here which it worked, but it kind of didn't because the mold went under, like in. Like this stuff is good about if there's an undercut, it'll, it'll pop out, like it'll come out of there. But if it's way too under or if it's just, you know, too small, then it'll, it'll break off. And that's basically what it did. But this stuff is still, still shiny. So let's like that's not that's not glass. Mm -mm. I wanted to make basically a druzy coaster, right? So we're gonna see. If it works. Since I'm using this craft slash art coat should be set up by tomorrow. Make sure you follow us on our other social media to get first-hand look at what it does. That's exactly what it is, Jen. Cauliflower cells. Um, let's fill it further with some of our other colors. Just do a ring. And so we are uh, testing out some mold patterns like this like we'll have one that'll that'll have four uh, uniform on the outside uh, what do you call that pattern but on the inside it's a little bit different so they're not all the same but you can you'll be able to tell that they are a set. Uh, the same set from the same molds um, and then we'll probably do uh, a two set and then a one set. Uh, because these molds, like you know, molds are pretty expensive and um, it uses a lot, a lot of molding product to make a big piece. Like the piece that I made was 13 by 12, probably by a half an inch or more. And it took, it took a lot of it. So. They're definitely not going to be cheap if you want to buy them, you know, in to make four at a time. Actually, eight. Uh, 
four, what is it, four? Four coasters and four pendants. Four coasters and four pennants or earrings or, you know, charms or keychains. I'm going to put this up. You're not going to blow on it? I did blow it. Blow it. And see, that one is a lot deeper than this one. Mm hmm. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of residue in here. It's like a gax splat. Thank you for all that information, Jen. Don, yeah, if you get cauliflower cells, it's because you had a little bit too much base tint. So the depth of these are quarter inch. Rusty, of course, they're going to the 2020 Art Summit. Um, we haven't gotten confirmation from Stone Coat yet, so... We're going. We don't, we don't know if we're speaking. <laughs> email your senators. And by that, I mean email Stone Coat and tell them you want us to speak at the summit. Or just come up on stage and have a shot with us. Well, that happened last year, so if you want a chance on having a shot with us on stage, you have to make sure we're going to be there. Don, you're such a great artist. You guys should resin all of the times. Clara, we need you to be there as well because you were definitely detrimental in us having a successful summit. Do you want some more of this in there? Yeah, I'm just trying to fill it up. Pick it up off the thing. It's not going to be... You tilt it and fill it in. You have a lot of gold left. By a lot, I mean kind of a little bit. I was going to say, I just used gold and there's not in there. Definitely want Stone Code to know that the fam is everything and want to give you guys what you ask for. It's fun. The ribbon. Thank you, Lisa. Don says, it would be crazy for you not to be a speaker. I can't see an artist summit without these two wild and crazy ATD artists. Aww. Well, I understand, thank you very much. I hope so, Jen. Also, Jen, I hope that you show up to the next summit. It would be awesome to have you there and experience Vegas with you and the rest of the fam. Puppy cam. <sighs> oh, hi, Mel. Come here. Let me get this resin off of me. Do you have a Made that, yeah. Mm. 
have so Jen. It would definitely be a better summit with you there. I mean, it's already amazing, but it would just be more extra amazing with you there. That'd be awesome, Clara. What, babe? You wanna come up here? Come on. Y'all see how he just turns around and parks it so I can pick him up? Okay, Bose. Okay, I see you. Hold on. I see you. I know it. Mm hmm. Okay, okay. I see you. Come on. Oh, got you. Okay. Also, Vamp. Vamp also must attend. Oh, really, Susan? She, like, beep, 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 like, turns and parks so that it's easier for you to pick her up and do whatever she wants. All right, y'all. It's that time again where I ask you to please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can find out when we go live or post a video, which is every day. Um, check us out on our other Facebook outlets and don't forget we have a class coming up here in dallas at the end of this month i know it oh was that a howl that was a little baby howl oh hi bowie i'm sorry did y'all hear that did you guys hear the howl Oh, beans. Um, and check out our other social media stuff so that you can also see what we do not on YouTube. Not everything we do is posted here. We try to post every day, obviously. Um, but yeah, check us out on our other so social media stuff so you can catch us when we're not live, you know? Right, Jen? That was totally a descended from Wolves Howl. Ooh. All right, you guys. I got to take these babes out. Hold on, Bows. Keep your balance. Keep your balance. You almost... Ah! Oh. Bo, you can't jump at Moose. He's delicate. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. Claire, I don't know if I'm past my year's goal. I can't remember. Oh, little Bowie wouldn't lay down because he's, I think he feels bad. Anyways, you guys, um, thanks for tuning in. Be kind to one another. Did that too soon. Um, thanks for tuning in and seeing what we're up to today. Be kind to one another. You never know what someone may be going through. Oh, thank you. Take care of your animals, you guys. Cherish them every day. And um, we'll see y'all tomorrow. Same time, same place. 8 p.m. Central. Nope. It is currently 6 p.m. Central Standard. Dallas, Texas, United States time. So, we'll see y'all tomorrow. If we change the time, we'll post it in ATD's Poor People, as per usual. But till then, we will see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys so, so much. Bye. I said bye. Yeah. Okay.